All right, let me start off. We have uh, suspended four players, all right, for this game for a violation of team policies. The uh, names are Des Lawrence, Donnie Miles, Brian Walker, and MJ Stewart. Those are the four guys we suspended for a violation of uh, team policies. You know, we, we're going to hold all of our guys accountable for everything they do uh, on the field and off the field. And we also have very high expectations for guys in this program, and they didn't meet those expectations. So that's why we're having some uh, some disciplinary measures here. Uh, you know, it's uh, unfortunate, but it is what it is, and that's what we're going to do. How long are the suspensions? One game. What is that that they do? A violation of team policy. Is it? Yeah. But you can you be more specific about A what policy? A violation of team policy. As far as the investigation the university is doing, is it complete then? Uh, I don't know that if, it, if, if it's complete or not, actually. This, the Office of Student Affairs is handling that because students were involved, so I am not privy to that information, actually. So it, it, that may continue to be going right at this time. Do you have any part in that investigation, or is it totally that office? It is totally that office. What was the tipping point leading to the suspension? What was the fact? I know, obviously, a violation of two years, but yeah. Uh, we're, we're getting at a point where I had enough information where I could make a decision. When did this violation occur? Not, no. What's that? When did this violation occur? Uh, it was just a violation of team policies. I, I mean, uh, I don't know the date. How does uh, not having those players affect the uh, team? Well, anytime you have uh, some starters that aren't going to be playing in the game, it's going to affect the team. So, but it's going to be an opportunity for guys that are backing them up to, to step up and, and make some plays. And it will be a, a great thing to see what our team does and how it responds to the adversity that we've created for ourselves. Have you had a chance to speak with the players and what you tell them if you did? That they were suspended for a violation of team policies and I have been able to talk to them. What type of messages does it send to the rest of the players on the team? Well, that everybody is held accountable for their actions and that we, you know, we, we have some very high expectations to be a football player here at the University of North Carolina. And uh, if you don't meet those expectations, then you will be disciplined. Any appeals process with players on this? With me? With the situation? I don't know what the policy is with the uh, student affairs. I, I don't know. That would be somebody. You'd have to talk to somebody else about that. Are you changing around your strategy overall, Coach, to, to accommodate for not having those players? No, we're not. We're not going to change the game plan or anything. We we've got other guys that have been preparing to play in the, in those positions also. So now that there's just less depth, and that's uh, you know defensively and on special teams. So there's less less depth in those situations, and a couple of guys may have to uh, move around a little bit to uh, to help us in some positions. But we'll we'll get it covered. Is there any chance the suspension could go beyond? I mean, you said it's one game, but is it a closed book at that point as far as the Closed league? book for me in football, yes. Do you anticipate any more players possibly being suspended? Uh, I, I, do I anticipate? No. How was practice today? It was good. You know, it was a, for us, it was a typical Thursday practice with our drives and then uh, to finish up special teams. I thought the, uh, the energy level was good. I thought uh, the guys responded well. What? about it being a distraction? Uh, you know me, I, I, do, I worry about every kind of thing that could be a distraction, but I know this is we've got a, you know, a, a large amount of players on this football team that have worked their rear ends off for a long point to get to this point. So, you know, it'd be, it would be a shame and, and uh, a tragedy to let any kind of distraction to keep you from playing at your best. So that's, that's my job is to make sure that doesn't happen. What was your personal reaction when you learned more about what had happened? My personal reaction? Mm -hmm. I mean, anytime we have somebody that doesn't meet my expectations, I'm disappointed. How long have you known about whatever violation occurred? Mm, I, I don't know the exact date. I, I know that, uh, you know, as soon as I found out, uh, you know, we started taking action. That's all I can tell you. I don't know the exact date. Was it early in training camp? Yes, early in training camp. Anything else? All right. Thank you all. Thank you.